solve the following equation. You need your answer in simplest fraction form if necessary. Letter A. X plus 5 over 4 equals 7 halves. And the best way to solve this problem is to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply this times this and this times this. In other words, it's going to be 2 times x plus 5 equals 4 times 7. Well, we're going to have to use distributive property and we end up with 2x plus 10 equals 28. By the way, that was 2 times x and 2 times 5. Subtract 10 from both sides and we end up with 2x equals 18. And finally, we can divide both sides by 2 and x equals 9. Solving an equation over here on letter B. When we solve this one, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And we get x squared equals 36. When we have this squared, we have to take the square root of both sides. And when we take the square root of both sides, we get x equals 6. Number two, use the diagram where EF is the angle bisector of angle TEA. Well, if it's a bisector, EF is cutting this entire angle in half. So if angle FEA is 30, then an angle TEF is also 30. And then if we want to look at the entire figure, again, the angle TEA, well, we've got 30 and 30, which is 60 degrees. In the diagram below, BD bisects angle ABC, and we want to find the value of x. Well, 4x minus 30 equals x. Again, it's the same idea as the previous problem. Because BD, this length right here, it cuts each of these angles, it makes each of those angles congruent, so we can set them equal to each other. Solve it the way your Algebra 1 teacher taught you. I'm going to subtract the x over here. So we get 3x minus 30 equals 0. Add the 30 to both sides. And we have 3x equals 30. And finally divide both sides by 3. And x equals 10. Number four, determine whether AB is a perpendicular bisector, an angle bisector, a median, or an altitude. As we look at letter A, what we see is that the length of OB has a length of 3, and the length of BX has a length of 3.2. So it's not a perpendicular bisector because one of those lengths is 3 and one of those lengths is 3.2 not a median, it has to hit in the middle. We're not talking about angles, so it's not an angle bisector. So our only other choice is that this is an altitude. In contrast, when we look at letter B, what we've got is we've got a tick mark here and a tick mark here, which indicates because they are the same length, that that point B is the middle value and middle starts with an M, and that's what a median is. It hits at the midpoint. Letter C, we're specifically looking at the angles, and it's too small for me to really mark, but we're looking at that angle and that angle. They each have the same tick mark there. They each have one mark, and what we got there, because we are looking at angles, is that this is an angle bisector. AB 
split that angle into two equal parts. In the diagram below, measure of angle 2 is 95 degrees. Here is 95 degrees. We want to find how big angle 1 and angle 4 are. Well, first of all, I'm going to start with angle 4 because this angle here and this angle there are vertical angles. And what we know about vertical angles is that they are equal. So angle 4, I'm going to do the measure of angle 4, is also 95 degrees. Our other value here we want to figure out is angle 1. And I'm going to erase my marks here. But angle 1, we take angle 1 and we add it to our angle 2. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2, it equals 180 degrees. They're supplementary. And we can fill back in how big our measure of angle 2 is. It's 95. And I'm going to use x for this. So we could say x plus 95 equals 180 to figure out our measure of angle 1. And when we subtract 95 from both sides, what we end up with is that x equals 85 degrees. And that, by the way, is the measure of angle 1.